<laughs> Caitlin Beats never takes for granted just how special her daughter Kieran is. She's laid back, happy, wonderful. Caitlin learned she was special in another way even before she was born. It was at her 20 week ultrasound that her heart wasn't where it was normally that it had developed outside of the chest wall. She had probably one of the, if not the most rare congenital heart defect, and that is a defect called ectopia cordis. We didn't have any idea that anything like that could happen. It was scary. Um, the odds were stacked against her. Kieran would need very complex, highly specialized surgery to survive. And the only chance you have of treating this successfully is having an integrated approach where you can gather experts. Cooperative integrated care is essential, um, but everybody's got their own job. We're teams of teams. But we were just amazed when it looked that good. Dr. Christopher Moyer is one of Kieran's pediatric surgeons. Dr. Jane Matsumoto is a radiologist who helped Dr. C in advance exactly what they would be dealing with. I segmented out the uterus, the placenta, the heart and the um, liver. The big question here is, you know, where, where, did, where was the defect? Where did the abdominal wall musculature stop and start? Dr. Carl Rose is Caitlin's obstetrician. There was much discussion that went on in advance. It is obviously almost a very unique circumstance, um, even for here at the Mayo Clinic. As co-director of Mayo Clinic's 3D anatomic modeling lab, Dr. Matsumoto and her staff also provided the team with another priceless tool, a 3D model of Kieran while she was still in the womb. This is life-size, one-to-one, exact detail. For the surgeons, the model turned out to be a game changer. When you take a look at the child, you see the liver is out, the intestines are out, as well as the heart. You want to fix both of those. But we found from the model that fixing both would put too much stress on the baby. The first priority had to be protecting the heart and moving it into the chest. Because doctors did not want Caitlin to risk going into labor, a cesarean section was scheduled for the 37th week of her pregnancy. But several days early, Caitlin's blood pressure rose suddenly and Kieran's vital signs weakened. An emergency C-section delivery was scheduled immediately. They pulled everyone together, about 60 doctors and nurses from 12 different teams in an hour and a half. 